All right, let's talk about merging actions and understanding the uh, custom properties and some of the limitations of, of um, trying to blend and mix IKFK and using the NLA stack as layers. So here we have a base action. And the first thing to know is that the, the snap tools for Rigify in this case, um, if we're at a, let's say a pure FK mode, or sorry, pure IK mode, um, that setting exists inside the track. So in order to bake, I can't create another action or layer and then bake to that to the uh, to the action. The uh, the layer itself or the action itself doesn't get keyframed, and um, you have to tab down into the to the NLA action as a as a tweak mode in order to bake it. So if we do something like, let's say that you know, we want the action to be IK for the beginning part of this, and then for the last half of this action, I'm going to go ahead and just switch it um, to the FK mode real quick so we can pose the arm. So I'm going to put the arm close to the chest in this pose, and I'm going to Make sure my NLA stack is set to combine. And I didn't keyframe it, so I want to do that ahead of time. Okay, so for this part of the animation, FK, insert location and rotation. And that's on this layer. And then um, we're going to go ahead and turn off IK. I'm sorry, turn off FK. And then about here is when I want the um, action to start, right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and insert a keyframe. And I'm going to come down here and fade that off and insert a keyframe. Okay, so we've got the blended action now. We've got some modifications and we've decided to keyframe that into this layer. Now I can combine this down into the action. If I, if I collapse this to a clip, I can combine the action. Um, if I need to, if I've already put this into a clip, there's no way to bake those, those edits down. Um, you can copy the animation from that individual thing and paste it into the new clip, but the, um, the bake operator, which is no longer available to search from uh, the NLA window, but you can get to it from the, the pose action. This only works with um, transforms. Okay, so um, the other option, of course, is to bake the action uh, to the existing timeline. So if I undo this, I've got these new actions um, built on here and animated with custom properties. And so the the thing that you'd have to do to basically bring all this together as one layer, um, if you need to keep it inside the file, is to bake the action, but say overwrite the current one. And that will push the animation to this um, kind of scene level action. And here you can see that it's been pushed to this new, new clip. And if I turn this off, we still have the existing IKFK animation and we're ready to push this down to a new action, and then we can get rid of our, our old one. So now this action contains the animation for that property. Now, if you want to combine it with other clips where you have custom properties, then that animation will not get baked to the current scene or the current take uh, in any way that I know of. So, um, we can try real quick, um, let's see, if I say F3 and I bake the action and say overwrite current action, and now we turn this off, yeah, we've lost the uh, custom property. It's down in this um, action, so we'd have to go in and copy this out. Um, so the best workflow for now, recommendation is make sure that if you're trying to combine the actions that you've uh, got all the major 
decisions made as far as the custom properties and the actions done at the scene level. And then you can combine that down, like cook it, bake everything to the current action and then push that down. So let's say you've, uh, I'm going to undo again real quick. And one last suggestion. Let's say that you've pushed this action down and you've started keyframing at the current level. Um, if you ba if you basically have one action like this that you've baked physically, um, you know, you can always move this back to the main timeline, right? We can jump to the dope sheet and we can choose action editor and we can assign the current action to the, um, to the, to the rig. And now we're back at kind of the scene level action where our custom attributes will be keyframable. And then when you're done with all the animation tweaks to this, um, action with physical layers, right? We can jump back to the NLA. And now we've got that, that action here. Um, if we were to create a new, new track and, uh, start working, you know, sticking another action on top of it or, or combining layers, then that's possible. You could work that way, but just be, be careful with, um, using the stack and using IKFK attributes and trying to bake actions and things like that. Uh, that's one one thing to understand. The other uh, the other thing, of course, is let's say you've got the switch going on, and you're ready to kind of combine everything. And you know the switch is working right now, but you know let's say down here, right? We've gotten rid of the IK animation. So if I jump over to the graph editor real quick. find my IK hand wherever it went. Yeah, so the IK hand is over here and it's kind of not doing anything that we need past that switch, right? We've we've gone to FK mode this whole time. And now the two are out of sync. So really what you want to do is in the action we're in tweak tab into tweak mode. Now I can choose whatever the 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 out of sync action is that I want to be the current animation the whole time. Let's say most of it's in FK, or I want to be able to edit it in IK. Well, I'm going to go ahead and um, tell it to snap the IK to the FK over the length of the action. And now that we've done that, of course, the IK is synced to the the animation. And if I get rid of the um, animation off of here. Right. If I um, clear keyframes, then the animation should still be the same, but completely in IK mode or completely in FK mode, whichever way you've you've chosen to snap it. Uh, and in that way, you've kind of removed whether or not you care about these switches. Hope that helps people out. Uh, it's not ideal. It would be nice to be able to have a merge or combine. Um, bake process that also incorporates the custom properties, but that's not currently in Blender's default build. You can copy and paste, like I said, between the action that has the custom property, you can paste the animation from that custom property onto the other action to compile it. And that will give you a combined complete action to, to be self-contained if you need to share it. But otherwise, just be aware that you know, you want to try to keep these kind of edits, custom property edits on the main timeline, and then compile that down to a, to a layer once you're happy.